I love technology, but not as much as you, you see. But I still love technology, always and forever. Always and forever. Okay, what was that all about? I'll give you a second to guess. All right, hopefully you all remember that was the song that Kip sang in the post credit sequence of the 2004 hit, Napoleon Dynamite. That's right, that movie was ahead of its time in more ways than one. It was doing the post credit scene years before Marvel was doing it. And fun fact, that post credit sequence used to drive me crazy because I worked in a small movie theater. It was a nonprofit, so I was a volunteer. I worked there purely for the love of cinema. And one summer when that movie, Napoleon Dynamite, came out, it was such a big hit, they kept it running at the theater for weeks. And every screening, I would go in there to clean up all the popcorn off the floor and everything while the credits were playing. So I heard that post-credits song about a thousand times. So I was so sick of it by the end of the summer. To be honest, now it kind of makes me nostalgic. So when Napoleon Dynamite first came out, I wasn't actually a huge fan of the movie. It was appealing in the sense that it was new and different, unlike anything I'd seen. But the comedy didn't quite work for me, and it sort of all just felt very awkward and uncomfortable to me. And I get that was sort of the point. Now, 15 years have passed, and I look at it sort of nostalgically. If they made a sequel today, I would probably be kind of curious. So there is no Napoleon Dynamite film sequel coming out, but it is returning as a four-issue miniseries comic book this September, just in time for the school year. Now, in order to talk about this comic, I will have to spoil the movie. So spoilers for the 2004 film Napoleon Dynamite coming up in three, two, one. Okay, remember at the end of the movie how Pedro won and became the new class president. So this comic takes place right after the events of the film. Pedro is accused of having cheated to win the election. Pedro's friends, Napoleon and Deb, must team up to clear his name. Now, I just want to say this is one of the reasons why I absolutely love comic books. We can get a premise that would never be done in any other medium. We're not getting a Napoleon Dynamite 2, and we're definitely not getting one that takes place right after the last film. If they did a sequel now, it would be a 15 years later, bizarre, you know, looking at the characters, where are they in their lives now? You could never get a film sequel that takes place right after the last film, but in comics, you can do it. In comics, you can do a Batman Ninja Turtles crossover. That's why I love comics. Now, does that mean this is going to be good? Uh, I don't know. If I were a betting man, I'd say probably not. It's unfortunate. It looks like no one from the movie is actually involved in this. If the director, who was also the co-writer, if any of them were creatively involved in this work, that would be kind of interesting. But it looks like this is people that are unaffiliated with the movie. It looks like IDW bought the license and they're releasing the comic. Now, I'm still curious, I'm especially curious because the tone of the movie is definitely, in my opinion, not one that would readily lend itself to a comic book. It's a very quiet movie with very awkward humor, and I'm kind of curious how the writer and artist are going to capture that tone in a comic book. And in the press release, they say that they have tried to capture the tone of that first movie. So... Out of curiosity, I will check this comic out, and you better believe I will come back here and review it, all four issues. And by the way, this is actually not the first time they tried to continue Napoleon Dynamite. There was a six-episode animated series that aired on Fox in 2010 that was six years after the original film came out, and that animated series actually returned the entire original cast, but unfortunately it was canceled after six episodes. I never watched an episode, but I didn't hear great things. Maybe this comic can turn things around. We'll see. And just to make sure I give credit to the right people, this comic is going to be written, co-written by two people, Carlos Guzman Verdugo and Alejandro Verdugo. Those are the writers of the indie comic Time Cheetah. 
and I googled that. I didn't see a lot of information about it. So it looks like these are kind of up and coming comic writers. So I think we should give them a chance. In fact, I may read at least a couple issues of Time Cheetah and see, based on that, do we have any reason to look forward to their take on Napoleon Dynamite for any reason other than curiosity? The comic is also going to be drawn by Jorge Monlango, who, uh, who worked on Adventure Time. So there's not much information released about this comic yet. There's the basic premise we already went through. They released cover art for the first issue. I'll throw that up on the screen. There are a couple of quotes from the writers. So from Alejandro, he said, Napoleon Dynamite is a pop culture staple a coming-of-age cult classic that spoke to the weirdo in all of us. It's an honor to have the chance to expand on the lives of Napoleon, Deb, and Pedro, characters that continue to resonate to this day. I still see people wearing Vote for Pedro t-shirts. I agree with most of that statement. That movie captured the weirdo in all of us. I do think those characters resonated at one point, but I don't see those Vote for Pedro t-shirts too often anymore. And in fact, reading this article about Napoleon Dynamite coming back is probably the first time I've thought about that movie in at least half a decade, maybe a decade. But I don't want to begrudge him. I am pretty nostalgic about this movie. And so a part of me is pretty psyched at the prospect of any sort of expansion to the Napoleon Dynamite universe. Adding to Alejandro's quote, Carlos Guzman Verdugo, he said... With this new story, we're focusing on matching the movie's unique tone, finding that perfect blend of oddball comedy and charming slice-of-life drama. It's certainly been a challenge, but one we're sure will pay off for longtime fans. And right there, like I said, is why I'm primarily interested in this comic. How are they going to capture the tone of that movie? I really can't imagine how you take that and put it on the pages of a comic book. As he said, it is going to be a challenge, and that enough to me is reason to at least check out the first issue. Anyway, thanks for watching today. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel, hit the little bell icon so you get notifications whenever we release videos like this one. Thanks for watching.